All right, guys, welcome back to another Cichlid Escape video. Buzzing to make this one. I've been after all this stuff for a while. Really, really excited to get it and also set it up. I think it's going to make the fish room way, way better. It's basically a central air system and everything's going to be running off that one pump instead of about six. So, incredibly excited. I'm going to run you through all these components and basically what it takes to make a central air system in a fish room. If you've not visited my channel before, then welcome. Here's a pretty big 125 gallon African cichlid tank in a wall. In here, we've got my fish room. If you've not already checked out last week's video, which was a Sun Sun canister filter cleaning and big water change, really like that video. Check it out, I'll leave a link above right now. We've got the FS6 on the other side of the 125. And as you can see, the water's looking crystal clear over the blood parrot, chilling in there, looking good. Anyway, right now, this room has been set up on about six different air pumps. I'm now gonna run everything, including this 55 and 33 gallon rack on a central air system. It's then gonna link up to the three stacks of 20 longs, and then it's gonna link up finally to the double stack of 40 gallons. So let's get this video going. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're looking at this wall thinking it looks absolutely awful, it does, I'm with you. Still waiting to redo the basement and paint the walls and stuff. If you're looking at this 125 gallon and thinking, that's an awesome tank, fair play to you, you would be correct. 125 gallon African cichlid tank and we've got a rainbow shark and a blood parrot in there because you know, why not? Wife's blood parrot, gotta have it. Today, however, we're not looking at this tank, we're actually looking at all the stuff we just recently got from gemco.com and it's part of our central air system that we're going to plug in and set up in this video, so let's check it out. Alright, so I'm not going to run you through the full setup in this video, I just feel like it'd be boring and it'd also take a boatload of time. So, just going to run you through some of the components that came with, of course, the pump. The pump is a diaphragm 40, I believe, from Gemco. Cost a fair bit of money and that's why I've been saving for quite a while and using little crappy pumps until I got it. This right here is an eight pronged manifold. It's gonna work really, really well and this is the last manifold that I'm gonna put on. We've then got an end cap. This is gonna go on the end of the system, just literally screws in. We've got a little connector there that again, screws in. We've got a little connector that goes over some of the PVC hosing that we've got, like that, connects straight to the wall and kind of makes it so you've got a nice clean finish. After that, we've got some elbows because our room juts out at some places. And right here, we've got a simple clip-on clamp. And we're gonna use this on a lot of the connections where the manifolds come in. That goes on, pipe goes on, that goes there. So I'll run you through how that all fits together. And then I'll show you the room and See what you think. I think it's going to look awesome and it's definitely going to be a lot easier for me to just use one central air system for all my sponge filters instead of using four or five different separate air pumps. So, right. so what we're going to look at now is how to connect these to the manifold. Really, really simple. Just like you would think. Righty is indeed tighty and you just tighten them. If you want to use some pliers to make sure that the clamp and the screw is a little bit tighter. You can do, but that is literally how it comes together. Hose is gonna come into there, and then you'll be able to control the flow from the air pump just using those right there. So let's get this connected, and then I'll show you how the whole room works.
So as far as I can see, pretty much done. We've got the pump here, connectors go up there. I've done something a little bit different. This pipe was coming off here quite a lot. So I kind of zip tied it. Looks a bit ghetto, but I think for right now it'll do until I get some more of those gray clamps. So there we go. We've got the 12 manifold there and then we go over again I've done the ghetto zip tie thing but I can always clip these off I basically put a nail into the wall and I wanted to make sure that this was clamped and we didn't have too much sag in the piping so seemed to did it did a trick might not look the greatest but it de definitely worked Then we've got the eight outlet manifold here and then we had to again use a little nail to bring it up and then we had to go into the ceiling because obviously near the water pipe we've not got a wall so I couldn't do that went into the ceiling and then had to drop it back down for this last one and then we actually ran out of those little clamps to connect it to the wall so I had to throw it in the middle but it works just as good so those will be running down into these 240 gallons so overall really really happy with it and this will save me from using one air pump, two air pump, three air pump, four air pump, and the fifth air pump that's currently running the 255s. And this one pump will basically power the entire fish room. And overall, I don't, I don't think it looks too bad. There's a little bit of, a little bit of uh, sag in the corner, but you know that's to be expected. I had to tie it to the ceiling, so. Looks pretty good, really happy with it. Now uh, let's see if it works. So guys, this room is an absolute mess, as you can see, but the planter tank is looking so good. Just wanted to basically show you this because the one thing I worried about with this system, this central air system, was potentially the noise. However, if you take a listen, you can hear a slight hum, and that's about it. Way better than actually using all my uh, older pumps and just got it set up about 30 seconds ago and turned it on and it's unbelievable. I am so, so happy with how it turned out. So not only is this quieter, looks pretty neat, yet to set up that 33, but the flow on it is absolutely incredible and it's not even turned up half the way managed to add a few more sponge filters in this tank here sorry for the glare can't do anything about it everything's hooked up i've got some free lines there managed to add two more sponge filters in this 40 rack as well one in each tank i'm absolutely thrilled with how this has turned out um worth every penny in my opinion i was saving up for quite a while and basically took all the youtube ad revenue for this pump so everything that you guys get me from viewing my videos and watching the advertisements basically got me this and this is gonna enable the fish room to run way way smoother which will give me more time for videos and more quality content coming your way so Thank you very, very much. The addition of that, of that right there, basically takes the place of all these pumps. So I'm saving, saving myself a lot of hassle and probably a lot of electricity as well. I love running a Whisper 300, this Whisper 20, I think, the Whisper 50, and then these two other little air pumps. And now I'm just running that big one. So incredibly, incredibly happy with this, as I'm sure you can tell from my voice, but looks absolutely awesome I've got plenty of lines left as well to add some um, to add some egg tumblers I'm gonna try out this this egg tumbler in a few days I've actually got a blue neon holding right now so that'll be that'll be getting tried out I'll be sure to bring you a video on that but really really happy as you can tell not too loud and that was my main worry so just just so 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 
thankful to you guys for helping me make this happen. Appreciate you all. Be sure to like this video and let me know that you're happy for me. Something like that. But we'll get me more likes as well. <laughs> Seriously, guys, thank you very, very much. If you can, share this video. Do whatever you can to share it and like it and comment down below. Let me know what you think to this system. And let's try to get to 5K before Christmas. That would be uh, the best Christmas present for me, in my opinion. I've been running this channel now for two and a bit years, and 5K has always been an aim for me. So if we could get 5K, that'd be absolutely awesome. Appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. All that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.